Hi, my name is Daryl Garrett, and this is Pastor D's Thoughts. I'm out at the mall where our church is temporarily located because of the storm that tore off our roof. We've been here for a couple of months now, and I, I just had a kind of a chance encounter with a couple of ladies that I was talking to out in the mall, and they were asking about the situation, and I asked them if they were involved in a church anywhere. One of them said something interesting to me. She said, you know, I used to go to church pretty regularly, but something happened along the way, and I just don't go anymore. Well, I invited them out here, of course, but it got me to thinking. Something else had just happened just a few minutes before. I would looked on Facebook and I saw a really unusual post by my, one of my nephews and I knew it wasn't him, so I sent him a text message and told him, hey Jerry, I think you've been hacked. He sent me one back and told me that, yeah, he had not made that post and he was able to change his password. And after that conversation and after talking with his ladies, I got to thinking about how many people have had their life hacked. Somebody snuck in unaware. You didn't even know what happened. And they came in and they changed things. Maybe a subtle little change, but it changed things in your life. And little by little, you made a shift. And where you used to go to church, you don't go to church anymore. Where you used to pray, you don't really pray anymore. You don't read your Bible anymore. You don't hang with God-fearing people anymore. And all of a sudden, you look up and you think, how did I get here? Nobody intended to be where they're at right now, but somewhere along the line, their life got hacked. I want to encourage you, maybe it's time to change your password. How do you change it? You just simply come to Jesus and say, here I am, Lord, a sinner. Forgive me of my sins, wash me clean, give me your righteousness. And then guard that password. See, salvation is free, but then you have to guard that because the devil, the Bible says, is like a roaring lion, seeking whoever he might devour. And he wants nothing more to destroy you, to hack your life and to make changes in your life that you didn't even realize were happening. If your life's been hacked, don't wait another day. You don't even have to wait till Sunday, right where you are right now. Just ask Jesus to forgive you and to put you back on the right path. If you don't have a church home, find one. If you're here in the Galesburg area, we invite you to come out and join us. We're temporarily, we're going to be here for a couple of months. We're temporarily meeting in Sandberg Mall in the old Sears Court. You can't miss us. It says Harvest Church above the door. Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock, Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. We would love to have you with us. Wherever you are, find yourself a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church and become a part of it. God bless you and have a wonderful day.